Number one trending topic eight years ago tonight, hashtag Snowmageddon. We're right in the thick of it, February 5th and 6th, in which Pittsburgh picked up 21.9 inches of snow. We'll get a little snow overnight tonight, but it's going to be more like 0.9 inches as we have a weak system coming through late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Here's a look outside right now. Mostly cloudy sky, 22. Temperatures have been holding steady in the low 20s since about four o'clock this afternoon, not much movement. South wind at three miles an hour. That wind direction, the blanket of clouds should hold temperatures pretty close to where they are right now. 23 in Churchill, Bethel Park and Bell Vernon. 21 in Cranberry, Elwood City at 22 degrees. 20 in Butler, 21 in West Mifflin and 23 in Latrobe. And you can see that temperature trend holds the line in the low 20s through First thing tomorrow morning and then slowly inches the temperature into the low and mid 30s for highs tomorrow afternoon. Our time frame here to see some snow showers. The window is going to open up in the middle of the night toward the end of the radar loop. You can see some of the snow showers beginning to show up back near the I-77 corridor in parts of eastern Ohio. Future cast and you can watch the clock. We'll move ahead in time to about 3 a.m. That's when the swath of light snow showers begins to cross the area. It's probably going to take about four hours to make its way from west to east. So 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, things winding down. And by 9 a.m., the snow showers will have ended all together. But we will see clouds then lingering through the day tomorrow. So look for mostly cloudy skies and a mostly dry afternoon. Actually, mostly dry from about 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning for the rest of the day and into the first part of tomorrow night in terms of what we expect in terms of snowfall fast moving system not a lot of moisture fairly weak so the snow totals fairly on the lower side of the scale here probably half an inch to an inch in any given spot but of course the timing could cause a few issues and maybe slow down the morning commutes tomorrow in the afternoon though again that disturbance is long gone we'll get high pressure building in here so quiet afternoon is expected and the first half of tomorrow night will also be quiet, but there is a second system. It's going to make its approach coming in this time from the south. You can watch it right up, right up through the Ohio Valley. Five o'clock Wednesday morning, you could see a variety of precipitation across the area. Pittsburgh on north probably is going to be initially a period of some snow with a wintry mix just south of town to rain as you get closer toward the Mason-Dixon line. But right now, computer models suggesting that There'll be an influx of some milder air, so there'll be a changeover to rain. You could see by mid morning and even toward noon, more green painted on the map. So brief changeover to rain showers and then as the system departs, colder air will collapse it on the backside and we'll wrap things up with a period of some snow showers Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. But it should make for a, a tricky morning commute. And of course, if the storm track should change, that could change the outlook of where that rain snow line sets up on Wednesday morning. Cloudy skies tonight, some scattered light snow showers late tonight, wrapping up first thing tomorrow morning, otherwise mostly cloudy skies and a high of 34. On Wednesday, we'll list a wintry mix. It's really going to be location dependent. Right now, we'll list a high of 35, probably a little colder north, a little warmer south, and probably a little more snow north and a little less south. So it'll be again a, a location dependent sort of storm system. Thursday, 29 and partly cloudy, 32 and a couple snow showers Friday, and we surge into the 40s next weekend.